Hey, Paul, thanks for joining us today. How are you doing? I'm great. Thanks for having me, Mark. Glad to be here. Yeah, no, it's great to speak with you. And I really love this idea, this idea of, uh, you know, Digital Workspace Alliance. I'm curious, what attracted you initially to this idea of this alliance? It's a great question. And, and frankly, candidly, there's so much confusion simply around the term Digital Workspace Alliance. When you say, oh, we're trying to improve our digital workspace, does that mean you're going to have free candy in the office or your dog can come to work or you want more ergonomic seating or you want a better VDI workstation or you want to do more testing or you want a faster hypervisor or you want your apps to perform? It's just such an incredibly all-encompassing term that several of us got together in the industry and thought, let's take a vendor-neutral approach to trying to simply add some simple human language around what a digital workspace is and what people do and what are various ways you can improve your various digital workspaces in your own enterprise. It makes sense. Even prior to the Alliance, did you have you seen that, that your customers are starting to understand what a digital workspace is a bit more, or do you still think they associate it kind of to your point to maybe a VDI solution only or something? I think it's an evolution. I think yeah. two years ago, it would have been my kind of first tongue in cheek answer about the dog in the office. I think last year people would have been, oh, well, you need to make sure that my PC is working on okay on my desk. And I think really in the last year or so, people have really come to understand that it encompasses VDI, it encompasses application performance, it encompasses testing, which is what login VSI does. It encompasses all those things. So I, I think you know, we're on a journey. I'd say, you know, if, if the two points on the arrow are zero and 100, we're probably at 40, maybe 50, but but we're not there yet, hence the need for the alliance. Yeah, no, I mean, in my shoes, I get to talk about it all the time from the analyst perspective. So kind of get to define what that digital workspace is very similar, but I would agree. I think a lot of people take and adapt it to what they mean. You mentioned login VSI testing. So specifically kind of give us a little bit more insight. What do you mean by testing there? Sure. So. We take an approach of the end user is paramount. The end user's experience, the end user experience at the digital workspace is where the company's productivity is gained and lost. It's where the, the employees are able to do their job, run their SAP application, run their Epic application if they're in healthcare, if it's on a VDI or if it's on Windows Virtual Desktop or Windows 10. All of those digital workspaces need to perform. So what we do is we test the end user experience and we do that by testing an ongoing experience. If you're rolling out, for example, changes to your Epic environment, you don't wanna just send them live from pre-production to production without testing. So we test in pre-production and then again, we test in production and we kind of do a smoke test in pre-production and continuous testing on the production site. So if you're an airline and you have someone at a remote airline location, a terminal, you know, with Scogo, Wisconsin coming in at four in the morning, you wanna make sure their digital workspace, which isn't a PC, is live and up and running at 6 a.m. so they have time to troubleshoot if there is a problem. So we test every aspect of the end user experience on the digital workspace. Yeah, and it makes so much sense. I mean, I think that's such good evidence how important it is to have that alliance, right? Because there are those different components or pieces that truly make that up. And some folks need to lean in further to understand in these different scenarios as work from home or hybrid or back to office becomes more important. You know, how are they ultimately testing for those scenarios and making sure to your point, how are they delivering that optimal user experience each and every time? So uh, and, I, lo I love hearing it. It makes a ton of sense. And that's a great example of the Alliance in the Alliance. Not that I'm trying to promote others, but I'm trying to promote the Alliance. We have a very well-known vendor that does endpoints. They, they ship out endpoints. We test endpoints. That's a great example of two different vendors in the Alliance working together to ensure an optimal end user experience. Um, we have a company in the Alliance that is about print management. So what good is the iGel endpoint and the testing of it if you can't get your printing to work? So it's really about empowering one another, but more so empowering the community at large to understand where their roles is and who can learn more about what specific aspects in the digital workspace ecosystem. And I think that's why it's named the Ecosystem Alliance because it touches so many facets of the enterprise. Yeah, it's kind of like raising my kids. It takes a village, right? It takes an <laughs> alliance in this case to make it happen. I have a couple myself and I would agree wholeheartedly. Um, no. you know, the endpoint is a really good example of multiple people coming. We test endpoints and we have people in the alliance to provide endpoints. It's a real good kind of 
hand and glove use of the alliance. It makes total sense. No, Paul, I appreciate your insights. You know, let's certainly stay checked in. It's going to be interesting how customers actually take this alliance or digital workspace in general, start to familiarize themselves with that term and ultimately put it to work for them over the next uh, coming months. So thank, enjoy the day and thank you very much for joining us today. Thanks for having me. It's a pleasure to talk about something that we all feel really strongly about that hopefully, you know, not only has a commercial game, but does a little good in the overall marketplace. And that's the goal. Agreed. Thanks, Paul. Thank you.